Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the Place and we are back for another round of Kindle Chronicles for Vlogtober Day 18. Um, it has been a wild Wednesday. Uh, wild in the sense that I don't think I've really gotten anything done today, but it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. We're going to do Candle Chronicles. But first, before we do that, please take a hot second to subscribe. Hi, Tux. Really? Why, why do you always want to jump in at the intro? Um, anyhow, real quick, before we get started, I want to just show you guys something that's like a little sad and a little funny, but you know, they always say you have to laugh to keep from crying. But in a hot second, I'm going to show you this picture. Uh, and like every time that I look, <laughs> every time I look over the balcony, the only thought that comes into my head is that song that's like, and I will be the night that I will fall for you over and over again. <laughs> like every time. Oh my gosh. Um, so the story is that we had a Jack Skellington from Home Depot. Um, we had him up on the deck. He was tied down to everything. And when I was putting him together, he was a little rusty um, in the, like his poles and stuff were rusty, like fresh out the box. Um, when I took him out after like, when we were going to put for Halloween decorations, and I was like, eh, it should be fine. Put him together and then one day it was just like, I was in the kitchen and I look and I'm like, Where's Jack? Cause like, I mean, he's tall. He's a big one. He's 13 feet tall. And um, it was wild. And so we like packaged him up to come back to Home Depot. And I've been wrestling with the idea of like, do we get another one? But it's so close to Halloween now. And like, we've got Coach Prime and stuff out there. I still need to do the Stanford bat. But um, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know, the inner like Halloween Jack Skellington lover in me wants one, but I'm like, I just can't see paying $400 for that again, because it's so like the construction of it, it's so, the metal is so thin um, compared to the big uh, skeletons. And so I'm just like, I don't know, it's hard for me. Now, if it goes on clearance and it's like half off, even though I feel like 200 is a lot, but well, yeah, 200 is a lot, period. I feel like it should be, I don't know, 100 or 150 at this point because it is so like skinny. Um, it's basically metal with styrofoam, literal styrofoam wrapped around the metal and then his outfit is over it. Like it is, it's such a money grab. Um, but yeah, I'm heartbroken that we don't have our Jack Skellington, but I just had to share that funny thought because I don't know. I imagine that other people have like silly moments in their head or enjoy watching TikToks and Vines, um, not to date myself, but um, bless you. Uh, <laughs> I just had to share that. Uh, so laugh at my pain, but Tuxie, I gotta put you down because we spent so much time talking about Jack. We gotta get into these candles. Oh, and I'm rocking a Jack Skellington shirt. All right, P. Jack. All right, let's get into this Joker here. When he wants to fight down there, so we're just gonna ignore her. Um, so, oh, okay, here's the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. Pretty sure we've seen this one before. It's a pretty good candle. Like, I don't know. I feel like it can even be one that I would warm right now. And like, it's just nice, fruity, not too fruity. It's a pretty good peach. Not the best peach ever, but it's good. It's better than the rotten ones that smell. Um, <laughs> then of course, there's peach bellini. And yeah, this one, this one's nice. It's got the effervescence of like a champagne. Guys, seriously, don't get put in time now. Uh, they're a mess. Um, so this one's pretty good, Peach Bellini. I imagine that it will come back out again around Christmas time, but we'll see. Um, oh. And next up is my, my first love, Mr. Fall of Fleurs. Oh my gosh, y'all. And this, like, the packaging is so me. Like, I'm a neutrals lover, but I will stunt with some gold and silver. And I love mixing metals, even rose gold. I don't flex on rose gold either. Um, but it just, oh, the essence. Of, like, I'm sorry, I gotta show you this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> they don't make them like these anymore. I was watching um, this guy's shops. 
Oh yeah, and I don't know how he got this lid on it, but I'm here for it. Um, and another one. <laughs> ah! I'll tell you, like the house is gonna be smelling like fallen flurries all all winter long. Um, so much so because there's three of these jokers. Honestly, I like this packaging better than the one um, that was like this scenic picture in the woods and whatnot. Um, oh, so there's four. Oh, and this one has a little bit of wax on the outside. You dirty boy, dirty little candle. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I said that like that. That was weird. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I was watching this guy's shops um, with his, I believe it was, oh, it was his, one of his Goose Creek videos. And he was talking about the packaging um, and how he wishes or like, he feels like Bath and Body Works could step up their packaging. And I'm like, I agree. Um, I just, I don't know. Like this Christmas version didn't really do anything. Sterling. See, they, they cut up. All three of them. Guys, come back downstairs. This is the foolishness. Oh, sorry, Tutsi. Tutsi, you're a good boy. You're the only one still down here. See, these girls off the chain. Jane, please send help. Um, <laughs> so next up, Palo Santo. Um, amazing. Just mm, woodiness, woodiness, woodiness. I mean, what it do, woodiness. And look at it. It's so pretty. They just don't make them like these anymore. Like the Christmas one, it just... Oh, we're going to put this one in the collection section. And you already know I put one of the Fallen Flurries over there. Um, they just aren't making like they used to. I just sat. Oh, another Palo Santo. Uh, we'll put this one in the backup pile. And I will put this baby down here just in case Tuxie decides to get on the chair. Tux, where are the girls? Winnie, Sterling. Here they come. They know, they, they cut up y'all. If y'all wanna come and babysit them, like please let me know because. Yeah, with your fast tail. Where, where you been? What you been doing? Huh? You need to answer to everyone. You're slowing up our Candle Chronicles and why? Hmm? Why? What are you doing? Here. Um, okay, another Palo Santo. I don't know y'all like. Okay, question of the day. Do you like the like more neutral Palo Santo with the gold beige vibe or the little winter woodsy winterland? Or do you think both of them serve their own purpose? That's the question. Okay, I'll probably come up with a better question, but like, I don't know. That was the question that was on my mind just now. <laughs> um, oh no, the question should be, do you think we should buy another Jack now before Halloween and just take the take the hit, or do we wait and I'll try to find one on clearance. And if I wait and try to find one on clearance after Halloween or whenever Home Depot marks theirs down, if anyone finds out, like, please tell me so I know what day to run Home Depot. But like, I don't know if you guys would like to enjoy or continue this whole little like vlog, let me tell you a little bit about my crazy psycho life um, kind of thing, then like, Maybe I'll be brave and like vlog the experience of rolling up in Home Depot trying to find it. Anyhow, yeah, those are our two questions for today. Um, I'm gonna put this one in the collection shelf and whip out another box for our pile. Um, but yeah, like I don't. Wow, I really have a lot of Palo Santo. Um, I don't know, y'all. Like, it's just it's not giving me the life. Wow, that I always dreamed of. Um, I mean, okay, that's a little extreme. Um, I don't know, like they just aren't touching my soul. Like the one version has like the words written all around. And I'm like, okay, like I'm used to us getting like a, a basic Betty, you know, but like a step up basic Betty. So maybe like a simple Sarah, like kind of vibe from White Barn around Christmas. And I'm like, every, you know, that, wow. That's fine, like everyone, um, that's three Palo Santos for the collection section. Um, I'm like, everyone, you know, everyone needs like a simple Sarah vibe, you know, just like a, a basic Betty, but a little zhuzh up for Christmas. Like, that's cool, I feel that. But then 
you know, the Nutcracker story, like we had that last year. So like, why are we doing storybooks again? Like we could do, I don't know, they could even, I mean, pardon me, like, I don't even feel like saying it because of like, here I go, throwing out all my creative ideas for free. Um, if Bath and Body Works wants to holler at me for marketing or anything like that, your girl's got some degrees, so just, just let me know. But anyways, um, I'm just like, you know, we could do the um, nine reindeers. Each reindeer is on a candle and like each scent, it has the thing like predicting what kind of fancy um, reindeer it is and giving the reindeer's personality. Like that's nine candles right there. And usually, wow, that was weird. It's like a little flirty um, out here, but I'm like, like something as creative, as simple as that. Or what about a Mr. and Mrs. Claus kissing under the mistletoe or, you know, Mrs. Claus baking gingerbread. Like why don't we have a gingerbread theme of candles um, for Christmas or even like one of different toys that kids would usually ask for for Christmas. So it gives you a little bit of nostalgia. You could have like a teddy bear, a tricycle bike, um, what else? A little doll. Uh, you know, like there's plenty of things, but it's just, I don't know. Hopefully they come out with some more stuff, but like, honestly, let's go through some more candles and then I'll go deeper into that. But here's um, watermelon lemonade and her basic Betty packaging. I like the lid though. I don't know if this lid went with it, but <laughs> I'll fill the lid. I don't think I have a lot of these, but I'm gonna put it in the burn pile because we, we need to get through candles. We need to get this collection down. Deep Blue Sea is definitely going into the backup pot. Like, already already burnt it a little bit. When I tell y'all, this, this joker right here is no joke, okay? This is a great, like, what I say now? It's a great summer scent. You could burn it right now, but... It's not my vibe, um, but it was great for 75% off. Um, the little rattan little um, design is kind of cute and it goes all the way around. I'm like, that's nice. Like we like, we like little stuff like that. Um, watermelon lemonade, sorry. I just realized I just like <laughs> beelined over it, but it's just a fruity, like it, watermelon lemonade. It smells like watermelon lemonade. Hey, y'all know your girl is not a fruity, fruity patootie, so. I'm like, yeah, it's okay, it's nice, it's so nice. Um, oh, next up is leaves, this cute little basic Betty packaging, adorbs. I mean, it's chocolate, chocolate. Um, but it smells like leaves, baby. Um, I am actually gonna take this one and put it upstairs because I think this one would be a perfect one um, to start warming in the, probably in the either, in the office or in the dining room? Probably the dining room. So I'm gonna just set this one over here. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Oh, raspberry mimosa. And I think I warmed it a little bit because it's got a little, bit, a little drizzle down there. Um, this one is nice, okay? This is like a fruity vibe that I could get with. I don't know, maybe it's the mimosas. I don't know, but it's fruity, but like that, um, I don't know, like that champagne-y, Prosecco-y vibe, like it just does something to the soul. Um, so yeah, I like this one. I wonder if I only have one. I can't remember. So I'm just gonna put it in the collection section for now, but if we come across one that looks better, then I'll take this one out and put it in the burn pile. Um, let's see. Oh. Laundry day! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited to smell it. I'm sorry, I got smelled again, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. When I tell you laundry day, if you like clean scents, laundry day, baby, all day, every day, every single formulation that you can find, honey, get the candle, get the wallflower plug in, get the room spray, get it all. And please, 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 I implore you, one of my closest friends, like she loves laundry day. And we realized that laundry day usually comes out like in full blast around like 
November, December, January, and then around like February, March, when they're starting to be like, eh, we don't need any more winter scents. We're moving to the, the spring, the fancy, the floral, the summer. It just disappears. And I'm like, this should be a year round scent. So if you love laundry day, like this is a PSA, make sure you pick up plenty of them um, when they come out because honey, after January, it's gonna be tough to find one of these, but this is collection section. It's amazing, it, it smells like fresh laundry. I mean, amazing. And not like that weird, like gainy laundry that can give you a migraine, a migraine. it's like fresh. Just, oh, amazing, amazing. Love it, love it. Um, oh, next we have Harvest Gathering, but the little acorns. I mean, even this one, like even this packaging is a vibe. Like they could do acorns, pine cones, um, pecans. Like they could just do a whole slew of nuts. Like everybody goes nuts for nuts. Why not? Um, hmm. So this one, I don't know. I always think Thanksgiving and like I'm glad that they um, zhuzhed up the one. I don't know why I keep saying zhuzhed today. I don't, I don't know. It must be way too much TikTok watching today, I guess. I don't know. But I'm glad that this year they like spiced it up a little bit, you know, gave it a little sparkle, sparkle, glitter, glitter dust. Um, <laughs> so it's nice, but yeah, it's just like cinnamony, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamony. A lot of cinnamon, in other words. Um, a lot of cinnamon, clove, just spice. Like, like this is the spice girl of the fall. Um, I'm going to put her in the back of burn pile because, I mean, look at this packaging. So, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, guys. We have one more crate left for this episode. Hopefully, I haven't tucked your head off. But um, I probably have. I'm sorry. But like, hopefully, you know, you enjoyed it. We've talked about cool stuff. Um, let me put this down. Tuxie, are you doing good back right there? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know, like, it's just wild out here. Oh, unicorn sprinkles. This one came out candle day last year, I believe. Yes. Yes, it was uh, last year. And it's. It's fruity, but like fruity, like Laffy Taffy. Like, girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. I don't know why I'm so like songy and dancey today. Must be TikTok. But uh, it smells so good. It's like fruity. I don't know what a unicorn sprinkle is supposed to smell like, but like this, this could be it. I fall for it. Um, <laughs> it's so fluffy cotton candy. Okay. Rainbow candy drops. Yeah, and sugar to lemon. So I really smell a lot of the lemon, but like the sugariness and then the fruitiness all kind of mixed together, but it's not like that overpowering slap you in the face fruit where I'm just like, but I really like this one. Um, I think it's great, great for spring. Uh, we're gonna put this one in the collection show. Let's see here, yeah. who's this? Oh wow, long dress is winter fall. <laughs> Not. Um, this, I used post-it notes for when we were moving with the different clothes and stuff. Um, virtual trail. Amazing. I remember all the controversy. People were like, oh, it's vanilla birch. And other people were like, oh, it's different. I'm like, I don't know. I don't care, but I love it. Like, give me a whole bunch of those. So don't be surprised if you see a whole bunch of these. It just smells like woodiness with a hint of vanilla it just it smells good it's, it's, it's good it's like i don't know the cousin of laundry day like it's just woody but with a touch of vanilla let's see what it says cozy vanilla i told y'all um white birch trees and a hint of bergamot so you know it's got like a little something something in there now i don't know i mean when the whole thing was out like I don't know we could call it vanilla birch gate or um birchwood trail gate um like I personally I like how can I say this um in a nice political way I think that everyone is entitled to their own opinion and I just felt like 
I didn't care if it was a remake or a small reiteration or if it was a um, repackage. I, I just wanted the candle. I was just there for the vibe. I mean, look at this. Look at the vibe. And then the top, just amazing. So like, don't ask me about the whole thing being like, oh, it's the same thing as Vanilla Birch. I mean, they're, they're close. I don't feel like they're the exact same. But that's just me. So everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But as long as we're nice, that's 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 all that really matters. No no need to get nasty and mean. It's not nice. <laughs> Anyhow, next up is a thousand wishes. Mm -hmm. Y'all, and I feel so crazy. Like, okay, let's just walk down this like one thought process. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, I, you know how like sometimes. This might be a Capricorn thing, but like, it'll be something and someone will be like, Stacey, you'll be so into this. And I'm like, and they got me. My friend, um, Jamie, like she got me real good. Cause she was like, girl, you would love Sex in the City, um, the show. And I'm like, whatever, like, no, me, no. What did I do? Absolutely loved the show. Okay, loved it. Watched the movies, loved them. Um, I haven't watched the new series that's out because like, I don't know y'all, it just breaks my heart when like I'm in love with something and then it changes and like they try to remake it or redo it and I'm just like, it don't hit the same. But like, that is one prime example. And then A Thousand Wishes and um, Into the Night, like when I was first into Bath and Body Works, I was like, whatever like basic amateur sense but like now I mean a thousand wishes I was using the body scrub and I was like this is this is good like what was I thinking and that's how I feel smelling the candle I'm like wow like it's so nice it's so like girly and happy like it just makes me think of Mariah Carey I have no idea why right now I can't think of the correlation as to why my brain immediately goes there but like it just smells like Mariah Carey and like her butterfly like album. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, and almond cream. Mariah Carey. I'm, I'm just saying. It just, it smells nice. It smells girly, but like it's still like sophisticated. So um, this one and champagne toast are like easy gift givers for like any any age between like, I don't know, 16 and like 16 and up. Cause I was going to put a, a, I was going to come up with an age to top it off at. I was like, nope, I'm not falling for that trap. All these must be the signatures. Um, Dream Bright, my girl from last year. And Dream Bright is just, oh, she's so, She's so Christmas. She's so dancey. She's such, she's got such a razzle dazzle. Um, I don't know. I just, I really like this one. I'm trying to think of like, I mean, we went over this one before, of course. Oh, I need to put a thousand wishes in the um collection shelf. Um I don't know. My mind is going blank. When I see it, I want to say sapphires, but like, I've never smelled a sapphire before. Like, sapphires ain't got no smell. <laughs> it's like kind of, it's sweet, a little fruity, but not really. Let's see. Sapphire berries. Wow, y'all. I said, I need to start believing myself. I need to stop this second guessing, blah, blah, blah. Um, sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. Okay, so the vanilla is a sweet. Sapphire berries, said it was a little fruity. And then the night blooming orchid. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what a night blooming orchid would smell like. I'd imagine it smells flowery. It, it checks, it tracks, as the young kids say. Um, next up, we have peppered plum. This was part of the, um, the little tester geometric um, Collection. I was going to say selection. And this one is interesting. Um, it reminds me, they don't smell alike at all, but the pepperiness in this reminds me of the pepperiness in um, 
Wicked Vanilla Woods, which I wish that one came back this year, maybe next year. But I feel like this is a, I don't want to say an acquired scent, but it's like, it's not, I don't feel like it would be a mainstream one that a lot of people would enjoy. Because you definitely smell the pepperiness in it. Like the plum isn't enough to be like, shh, 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 shh. like, no, the pepper is like, I'm here. Like, I'm ready to pepper spray the house. Like, what's up? What's good? Um, let's see what other notes are in here. Bold plum. Is it bold though? I would argue against that. Warm patchouli, yes. And then black peppercorn. I mean, it doesn't smell like you're sniffing ground pepper or anything like that. That would be wild. Um, I don't know, it's like a hint of patchouli, a hint of plum, and like a little bit of pepper pepperiness, but I don't know, it's one of those like odd, unique ones. So collection section, um, or collection shelf. I don't know why, uh, I keep mixing up all the words today because I'm talking too much. Um, Dark Velvet Oud. Mm. Yes. Oh, I love Oud. Oh my gosh. I still need to make up my mind if I'm gonna um, try out the Oudgasm um, perfumes from Huda Beauty. Or Kayali, sorry, apologies. Uh, from Kayali. I don't know, I'm still on the fit because y'all, I have so many fragrances and I pre-ordered the Beyonce fragrance that's supposed to be coming out in November and I'm just like, if that one's hidden like it's supposed to hit, then like no one else will have a chance. So, I don't know, we're still on the fence, but I love Oud. It's like woodiness, but to the nth degree, it's beautiful, incense ish a little, just, oh, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Um, <laughs> this one, the notes are dried raspberries, um, white musk, and oud. Um, now that they've said white musk, um, like white musk, you can find it in a little oil. Um, I believe they sell it at Ulta, and I picked up mine from Whole Foods. Um, really cute little tiny bottle. Um, but it smells similar to this, but the oud in this is kind of like, burp, burp, um, smacks you in the face a little bit. But it's something kind of similar to that, where it's like, it's a clean, but incense -y smell, and they just like blended it just right with a dash of the raspberry to give it more of like a, not a feminine vibe, but like a, um, a softer vibe, if you will. Um, love this one. This one's amazing. Um, so I picked up these two at the outlet in Smithfield way, way back when. Um, probably back when Moby Dick was a menu, but I got them. <laughs> and with that, we have finished our four crates for this episode of Kendall Chronicles. Thank you so much for hanging out today for our Wednesday Vlogtober day. What day is that? 18? 18? Can you give me a high five? Ooh, you want to give mama a high five? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it. You can do it, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah, good job. Good job, little baby. All right. Oh, you guys want to see Winnie real quick while I have you? Hold on, hold on. We found. <laughs> you show us. We <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is silly, but we found. Yeah, you like it? I know. Doesn't this look like Winnie? Where is? Where did we go? Winnie, Winnie and Sterling are upstairs being the police right now. They like to sit on the couch and look out the window, so they don't want to hang out with us. But Chas, he's a mama's boy, so he hangs. But like, doesn't this look like Winnie though? Isn't that wild? But now I wish I could find one that looks like Tuxi and Sterling. So we gotta be on the hunt. Tell dad that's another reason for us to go to Marshall's. We can need to go to Marshall's, right, bud? Yeah, we need to go to Marshall's. Okay, well, once again, thanks guys for hanging out with us um, on this Vlogtober day, and we will catch you guys in the next video.